This is the 43rd lecture in the FOA series of lectures on fiber optics. In this lecture, we're going to talk about the polarity of MPO array connectors. And we're going to talk about how you can manage the polarity of these connectors using Panduit's PAN MPO connector. As you probably know, the MPO connector is designed as an array connector with 12 fibers in a row as shown here or multiple rows of 12 fibers. Although the standard allows for up to six rows or 72 fibers, it's very unusual to see anything other than one or two rows, 12 or 24 fibers in one of these connectors. When you mate two of these connectors, the ferrules are aligned by alignment pins. One connector will have pins, the other connector will have holes, and when they mate, that's supposed to align the fibers accurately enough to have low loss. MPO connectors are also keyed. The key is there because when you mate two connectors, you have 12 fibers in one connector that have to mate with 12 fibers in another connector. So if you think of it as one has fibers 1 to 12 and the other has fibers 1 to 12, do they meet 1 to 1 and 12 to 12? Or do they meet 12 to 1 and 1 to 12? The problem you have with most of these connectors is all of the variations in the connectors. As you can see, there are four varieties we've shown here. First of all, there are the connectors that have pins, and there are connectors that have no pins or holes. And those two can be mated to each other and align the fibers using the pins. The second option is the key. The key can be on the top or the bottom what we call key up or key down, and the keys determine which way the connectors mate. So the pins do the alignment, the keys do the mating. Now the problem is that there are four different varieties of these connectors. That means you could have four different types of connectors on each end of a patch cord, or four times four, or 16 varieties of a patch cord. This is particularly a problem when you're trying to test them because you have to have the right patch cord to meet with the connector that you want to test. Panduit has solved this problem with a Pan MPO and we're going to take a closer look at how MPO connectors mate and then we'll see how the MPO connector solves this problem. What you see here is a mated pair of MPO connectors. It's a connector, a connector, and a mating adapter. The connectors snap into the mating adapter, so to remove them you pull back on the connector body and remove it from the mating adapter. Now there's a couple of interesting things to notice. The first one is that the mating adapter is empty. Unlike a SC or LC type mating adapter, there's no alignment for the ferrule on the connectors. The alignment for the ferrule comes from the pins on one connector and the holes in the ferrule of the mating connector. So when you mate two MPO connectors, you're actually putting pins into holes. And all the mating adapter here does is allow the bodies to snap in and hold them in place. It does have one other thing though, because the connectors are also keyed. They have a key on one side of the ferrule. So this connector has the key on the top, and this one is flat. It doesn't have a key. The mating adapter has slots for these keys. So when you mate them, you have to mate the connector 
with the key adapted to the mating adapter. If you try to do it backwards, the connector won't fit. You have to turn it over until the key is aligned. And that's because the connectors have 12 fibers, numbered 1 to 12. And in some polarity schemes, they go 1 to 12, 1 to 12. And some, they go 1 to 12 and 12 to 1. There's 23 pages of polarity information on these connectors in TIA 568. Panduit's Pan MPL connector allows you to take one connector and change it to any of the four variations of the MPL connector style. If you have to test MPL connectors and you need reference cables, but you don't know what style of connector you're going to need, having your reference cables with PAN MPO connectors on them will allow you to easily change from one style to another according to your needs. This greatly simplifies testing the MPO connector. Let's look at how easy it is to make those changes. The outside of the connector body snaps right off and snaps, of course, right back on. If you need to change the keying from key up to key down, simply snap the body off, snap it back, and you've changed it from key up to key down. With the outside of the connector removed, you expose a slot that allows you to use a special tool provided by Panduit to slide the pins back and forth. So you can make a same connector, a pen connector, or a hole connector, or as some call it, pen and no pen. It's that simple. When you get the selection done, put the connector body back on, and you're done. Be sure to watch the other two videos on YouTube from the FOA about the MPO connector. Lecture 41 talks about prefabricated cable systems and Lecture 42 talks about testing MPO connectors where you will see where having an adaptable connector like the PAN MPO makes so much sense. We're the Fiber Optic Association, the international nonprofit professional society of fiber optics.